Now, when building out components within a Nuxt application, it's nearly identical to how we would build out components within a Vue application. The only nice thing that we have with components within Nux is that these components, when we use them, are going to be auto imported for us in the pages that we use them in. Now, the first component that we're going to be building is going to be for our navigation. So inside of our app folder is where we're going to store our components. So what we want to do is within our app folder, we want to create a new folder and we can call this components. And within this components folder, let's create a new file for our navigation and we'll just call this base navigation.view. And inside of this component, we want to start off by generating our view template so we can say vbase3-ts setup. Now, as we begin to build out this application, I'm going to bypass writing out the markup and the style so that way we can focus on the core concepts of Nux itself. All right, so here on GitHub, I have the repository pulled open for this application. And what you're going to want to make sure is you're on the branch called instructional code. Now, as I mentioned, I want to focus more on the core concepts of Nux. So what I did on this branch specifically is I ripped out all the Nux core features from the completed project. So that way we're just copying and pasting in the raw HTML and CSS from Tailwind. And we're going to focus more on implementing those core Nux features. So what we want to do is we want to copy this entire header tag from this base navigation component and we want to paste it within ours here inside of our Nuxt application. Now inside of this component, we're going to be using an image for the icon and that icon is going to be located inside of our public folder. And as of right now, we don't have that inside of our repository. So we want to head back over to GitHub and then we can come to the public folder and for this project, we're going to have two assets. We're going to have the icon and also an image for the hero. So for now, we can just download the icons. We can click on this and then we can just download that and then add it to our public folder. And now that we have this image inside of our public folder, we should have everything we need to properly display this base navigation component inside of our application. So what we want to do is you want to navigate over to our layouts and then we have our default layout. And then what we want to do is we can remove this H1. And then what we want to do is on every page that has the default layout, we want to display our base navigation components. So what we can do is above our slot, we can insert our base navigation component just like this. And then remember, because we are using Nux, we don't have to import that in the script. Nux is going to take care of that for us automatically. Now, before we preview that, one modification that we need to make is within our app.view file. So a few lessons ago, we added this container class, which is now wrapping all of our pages within our Nuxt application, which we don't want. We want to add this container class on a page basis. So we just want to remove this here from the app.view file. And now here inside of our application, you can now see we're properly displaying our base navigation component. 